So what we got right here is a double-sided pipe block control center. And it's called double-sided because the emergency and the, uh, the emergency and the service portions are on opposite ends. The single-sided, uh, the pipe block is nice and long. It's like a rectangle. Uh, this one's more shaped like a box, like a cube. Uh, and, uh, and on the single-sided, the emergency and the service are on the same side. But right here we have the uh, DB20L uh, emergency portion. The L is just for long car. Uh, I mean, it depends on how much feet of brake pipe, right? And then we have the service portion. Uh, this is the ABDX model, right? And uh, what you have right here is uh, you have the release rod stem. Let me see if I can get a better picture. Right there, the release rod stem, right? And it's attached to the release rod, right? The release rod goes from one side of the car all the way to the other, right? So that you can pull and then release the air from the cylinder but somebody already did. Uh, like I said, you got the pipe lock right here. And then you have all of these pipes and they all go to a specific uh, valve. Right here, this skinny three, three eighths pipe goes to the uh, uh, retainer valve, right? The retainer valve. And it's got three settings. It's got direct exhaust, high pressure, slow direct. This one is not really used all that much. But uh, direct exhaust, this is when you're doing an initial terminal, you want this to be pointed down because what this what this does is that uh, when the brakes are applied, okay, air goes into the cylinder, right? Uh, when air goes into the cylinder, this uh, this silver hollow rod will push out. But when the car is in release and uh, you increase the brake pipe pressure, right, in the train line, all the air in that cylinder has to escape. So it escapes through here. And a couple other places, venting places, but right here, this is where it, uh, it releases. If this is in high pressure, it'll retain some of the air even upon release. It'll release, but it won't release all the air. You can see the venting right here. The venting right there. So you want this to be uh, pointed down uh, when you're doing the initial terminal, see? And then it goes all the way to the uh, control center. The other pipes, uh, there's two pipes ugh, right here, three quarter pipes. These two right here, they're the same size. And these go to the reservoir tank. See that big boy right there? And one side you have the auxiliary and one side you have the emergency. So it's self-explanatory. If you follow these pipes, you see the one on this side, goes to the emergency. The one on this side goes to the service the reservoir tank and then you got all the information on uh, on the on the tanks so you got location one which covers uh the b and the c truck uh db10 and the db20l now this is kind of this is outdated brake pipe 122 feet but this is outdated because this is not uh that's not the 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 db10 uh that's the abdx model and you can tell look they replaced it right this is the db20l Right, that's correct. But the ABDX is not is not correct. It's uh, it's been replaced. Somebody did a scat. And then you got all of these pipes right here. Uh, it's a branch pipe, right? And uh, it, that's what it is. It, it uh, branch T right there, and then a the branch pipe. And the branch pipe is just so air is going down the train line. It's going through the train line. This inch and a quarter pipe. It runs all throughout the car. And then it branches right here and air goes right here into the uh, dirt collector cutout co combination. And then it goes into the control center. On this side, uh, you see the dirt collector? All debris, dirt, everything. It filters in and it just uh, sits right here. There's like a little China hat thing in the, in the top right here. Or in the bottom right here. And here are the securements. Uh, two nuts. And then right here, you have this uh, this uh, branch pipe. Or this cutout cock, my bad, cutout cock. And you see this line? This indicates that there's a wall, right? So air is not going through the, con the control valve. If the car is like this, if it's uh, if the, uh, the line, 
is perpendicular to this branch, the branch pipe, then it cut, it means the air is being cut off, right? Air is cut off. And so it's only going through the train line. It's not going to the control valve. But if it's down, it means it's open. See the line? It means the air is going through. You see the arrow follows into the control center, right? And then distributes the air throughout the valves to service any emergency. There you got some more train line pipe. So yeah, that's the basic uh, uh, control center. And then, uh, oh, I forgot. Uh, there's another pipe right there. So it kind of goes in the back right there. Follows right here. And then you have the cylinder hose that connects to the cylinder. And this is an Elcon National 8500. Uh, this is, um, looks like a left-handed brake beam. So this is a left-handed cylinder. Right, these Elcon Nationals they have um, three sizes: seven and a half, eight and a half, and ten-inch cylinders for uh, uh, corresponding uh, tonnage truck set sizes. And then uh, obviously they have a left hand and a right hand, depending on uh, the brake beam on the side that the cylinder is mounted to the bolster. Right. So this is a left-handed cylinder. This little doohickey is for when you're doing a single car air test. You connect the. Uh, a brake cylinder tubing, right? So yeah, that's the basics of the uh, control center.